This time, I talk about normal linear U.S. in the pancreas biliary system by transtudinal view. Insert the scope into the duodenal bulb. We try to find the, the portal uh, vein. The portal vein is so important to landmark on U.S. imaging. In this figure, transducer face the long axis of portal vein, tip of the scope, toward the hilar area and the liver, a distal portions to pancreatic head area. On US imaging, we can see similar structure. This is a hilar area, liver area. This area, pancreatic head area. Uh, this is a, a splenic vein. In this area, pancreatic body area, I made a simple illustration for understanding U.S. scan at duodenal bulb D1. And this is the posterior view, pancreatic head and neck. And this is the CBD. And this is the portal vein system, assembly, splenic vein, portal confluence, portal veins. The scope wrap turn and down. The scope move to proximal CBD and hilar portion of liver. Right turn and up. A scope move to here, distal CVD, major amphora. Step 1, portal vein and CVD. After the observing portal vein, rotate the scope a little counterclockwise rotation. CVD can be seen. This area, pancreatic head area, uh, this area, splenic vein, SMV. After the observing a portal vein and the CBD, rotate the scope a left turn. Following the main pancreatic duct, we can see the pancreatic neck area, MPD cross the SMV and portal vein. Step 3 CBD, right hepatic artery, and gallbladder in this area. Left turn and downward of scope, we can see mid CBD and portal veins. Uh, like this on US imaging, and this is dilated CBD, right hepatic artery, and this is a portal vein. Video clips, we can see CBD, we can see C duct. Following the C duct, we can see GB neck area. Body area, uh, this is a portal vein. Step 4, pancreatic head and major amphora. Rotating the scope, slowly advance the scope, clockwise rotation at the superior duodenal angle. Observing the pancreatic head area, tracing the CBD toward the amphora, we can see distal CBD and proximal main pancreatic duct. We called it, this is a, a snake eye sign. In this area, digital CBD, main pancreatic duct area, similar to the snake eye. And then pushing the scope, we can see the inflow vata. I show you video clips. This is pancreatic head area, portal vein. Clockwise rotation, we can see inflow vata. Through the second duodenum D2 area, scope movement technique, push and put technique, push, can make a patient painful. We usually use pull technique, straightening like ERCP. We through the scope very slowly. From the duodenal aorta, we can see pancreatic head area, low patients. We can see assembly, SMA. We can see inflow butter area, CBD, main pancreatic duct can be seen in this area. In this area, home base, abdominal aorta. Step 1. Inferior portion of pancreas head. After the identifying descending aorta, rotate the scope clockwise rotation. We can see SMV, SMA. This is descending aorta, rotating scope. We can see 
SMV, SMA. This area pancreas had low portions, slowly withdrew the scope, rotate the scope slightly counterclockwise rotation. We can see amplobata, this duct, CBD, this duct, pancreas duct. Step 2. Uncinate process of pancreas head. Uncinate process is extension of pancreas head. Uncinate process here. There is no landmark defining uncinate process. And this figure is very nice for understanding pancreas anatomy. Usually, uncinate process located between descending aorta, SMV, SMA area. This video, this is aorta, this area, uncinate process, SMV area, uncinate process here, uncinate process located, SMV and descending aorta. Step 3, major ampulla and periampillary area, after the observing Amplobata turn the scope a little bit. Clockwise location, we can see main pancreatic duct area. Turn the scope counterclockwise rotation. We can see CBD area like this. Water injection sometimes may be helpful to see amplobata and the pancreatic head area. Thank you for your attention for this my talk.